Now we're going to make a clear distinction between the domains 1 and 2, the regimes 1 and 2. Regime 1 is when the speed is much, much less than the critical velocity. So we then have that mg equals c1 rv terminal, and therefore the terminal velocity equals mg divided by c1r. If you take objects of the same material, that means they have the same density, the density of the objects that you drop in the liquid or that you drop in the gas, so that m equals four-thirds pi rho r cubed. This is now the rho, the density of the object. It's not the density of the medium. Then you can immediately see, since you get an r cube here, that this is proportional to the square of the radius. If you drop objects in there with the same density. Regime two is the case when v is much larger than v critical. So then mg equals c2 r squared v squared, if this is the terminal velocity. So the terminal velocity is then the square root of mg divided by c2 r squared, mg divided by c2 r squared. And if you take objects with the same density and you compare their radii, m is proportional to r cubed, so this is now proportional to the square root of r. So this separates these two regimes, and we will see examples of that, that sometimes you really work exclusively in one, or sometimes you work in the other. I have for you a view graph that is on the, on the web, so you do not have to copy it. It summarizes what I have just told you. It has all the key equations. You see there on top the resistive force, the magnitude of the resistive force. You see then the critical velocity. There's nothing critical about it. It's just the speed at which this term has the same magnitude as this term. Then you see the condition here, which I called equation one for terminal speed. And then we have regime one, whereby the speed is way less than the critical speed. And then you get the terminal velocity, as you see on the blackboard, which then is proportional to r squared, if you only look at objects which have a particular given density. And if the velocity, if the speed is way larger than the critical speed, you are in regime two and then you have a dependence with the square root of r.